Hi everyone, it's TJ from Toy Knits Designs. I just wanted to demonstrate the fringe edge on the Before It's Gone shawl. Uh, for this demonstration, I am using Handmaiden Fine Yarns Caspa. It's uh, in colorway um, amethyst. It's a gorgeous tonal variegated yarn. It's absolutely lovely. Uh, it's got a little bit of cashmere in it, some merino and nylon. Um, very squishy and uh, not sponsored, just one of the things that I love, uh, one of the fibers that I love. And I'm using my, <clears throat> in case anybody's wondering, my Haya Haya Short Sharp Interchangeable Needles. I absolutely love these. I've tried to get sharp needles for a long, long time. Um, and these have been the sharpest so far. So again, not sponsored, just something that I thought I'd share with you. So where I'm at right now is I've done the, I'm gonna just try and explain the uh, construction a little bit. So I did the cast on edge which is this bottom row right here. And then I did the cast off as stated in the pattern. And then I've done the other rows. So this is now the fourth row of the repeat. So it's a four row pattern um, up to a certain point. So I'm on the fourth row. So I've cast on the stitches again for the fringe, for the second fringe. So we're just repeating this really. Um, so I've cast those on and now what I need to do is bind off. So I've cast on 24 stitches as stated in the pattern. And then it tells me to knit one, which I'm going to. And I do knit continental, so um, it may look a little bit odd to you. I will try and get Wendy to do a demonstration for us um, at some point because uh, she does knit English style and beautifully, uh, I should add. So I've knit one and I'm going to bind off 24 stitches. So to bind off, what I do is I knit, I knit again and then pass the previously worked stitch over. So I knit and then pass that previously worked stitch over. So I always have one stitch on here when I go to knit. So I'm going to do that 24 times. I'm going to kind of go a little bit quicker here. I will do a cast on and a bind off video at another at another point. Um, but this, I just wanted to show you the structure so that it kind of makes sense. If you guys are ever working any of our patterns and think, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how to do that, you're welcome to email me <clears throat> at toynits at gmail.com and I will get back to you as soon as I can or post a video. You can send me pictures of your work if you'd like. We love it when you share um, your pictures. We love to see how you interpret our patterns um, and share away on Ravelry, Facebook, Instagram. Tag us there. We're Toy Knits on uh, Ravelry and Toy Knits on uh, Instagram as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I keep uh, binding off. I do apologize for the background noise. We have some construction going on and I can't eliminate it all. Um, so I keep binding off. And there's kind of, there's a bit of a trick to knowing because sometimes like as I'm counting or as I'm talking now, it's, I'm not counting obviously. I can multitask, but not quite that well. So there's a trick to knowing when to stop the bind off. So you cast on 24 and then you knit one, but you need to bind off 24. So you keep going until Sorry guys, just give my yarn a bit of a tug there. Okay, so you keep going until you get to that worked yarn over. Okay, so you see it there? It means stop binding off. You're gonna do a yarn over here, and then an SSK, which for me is just knit two together through the back loops. And then knit across. And last stitch, we need to knit into the front and back. Again, I do this a little bit different just because I knit continental. And there you go. There you have it. So now we've got two fringes. And then you just repeat that pattern. So when you do the when you do that cable cast on, you go across and then you bind them off to get back to your triangle. And this triangle will just keep getting bigger, bigger, bigger. And all along this edge, 
there's going to be these fringes. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or email us, like I said, at toy, toynits at gmail.com. And uh, that's it. Happy knitting, folks. <laughs>